This is Nick Stout with The Verge. We're here at uh, CES's Pepcom Gadget Show. We are checking out the Vuzix Blade. It's a pair of AR glasses, and it's the real deal. This is Google Glass, but it actually works. So similar to Google Glass, this floats a, uh, a little square image in your view, but unlike Google Glass, this is doing it directly over uh, a pair of standard sunglasses. So you don't have to look through a little prism. You don't have to look uh, very high up into the right corner of your vision. It floats it right there in front of you. In fact, you can even move it up and down in the settings of the glasses themselves. The company Vuzix, they're uh, from Rochester, New York. They've been working on this technology for almost two decades now, and they've pretty much finally cracked it. Uh, right now when AR is having a big moment, we're seeing a ton of AR goggles and glasses from all these different companies. Uh, Vuzix here has come out with a, a prototype device that actually works. So right now with these glasses, you can do a number of different things. Uh, right now I'm looking at a home screen as it floats right above uh, my videographer uh, Viren right here. Now if I swipe with my right hand, I can go through different apps. There's uh, an Amazon Alexa app. Now that's what makes this uh, pair of AR goggles really stand out is they've integrated uh, Amazon's digital assistant right into them so you can speak to them as if you were speaking to an Echo speaker uh, or any number of other uh, Amazon devices. Now if you keep scrolling, you go from Alexa, there's a, a little tank game that you can play. Uh, there's a, uh, a photo gallery so you can uh, pin some high-res images and watch as they float around your field of vision. They even have a Firefox browser here. That unfortunately does not work either because the Wi-Fi is a little bit spotty in here. But uh, the really cool thing is they have a camera. So if I tap right here, I get a uh, live view of what my glasses are seeing, and then I can tap and take a photo. Now, I can't stress enough how, uh, how good this actually is. This is the first pa pa uh, pair of AR glasses that are actually comfortable. Uh, they feel natural as they sit on my head. I don't feel any weirdness, any uh, discomfort. They're not squeezing the backs of my heads. It's not uh, lurching off the front of my nose in a really awkward way. They sit comfortably on your head and the image floats perfectly clear right in front of your face. Now, Vuzik says they've only been able to accomplish this by spending so many years working on DLP projection, which is what they have miniaturized and put right here in the side of the glasses, and then using a uh, waveguide system to basically send the light back towards my eye. So you're probably wondering, how can I interact with the Vuzix Blade without either using the touchpad or using my voice? Down the line, Vuzix says they will actually be able to enable gesture control, so you can reach out in front of you and touch the, the digital image and interact with it. Now, a lot of other companies are trying this exact same thing, DLP projection, waveguides, companies like Magic Leap uh, down in Florida, and uh, we've seen it in a number of other companies here at CES, too. But no, no company has really figured it out quite like Vuzix has. I can't say enough that this is a pair of AR glasses that really feels like it's ready for prime time. If they sold this next month, uh, I would certainly consider buying it. Now, the company does plan on selling it very soon. Uh, they plan on bringing a developer version uh, to market in Q1 uh, for $2,000. Now, they, that gets you a, a developer version and also a consumer version when that comes out in the second quarter of this year. If you just want the consumer version, you can buy that for $1,000. For all your augmented reality coverage, both the devices that don't work and the devices that, like the Vuzix Blade, actually do work, check out TheVerge.com or subscribe to us on YouTube at YouTube.com slash TheVerge.